Post Fan Fort time with you here once again as it's 4.15 p.m. on Sunday, October 15, 2023. Another sad celebrity death just happened. It happened 24 hours after Piper Laurie's death. This one is Suzanne Summers, who was well known for being on Three's Company and Step by Step died just today at the age of 76 after a battle with breast cancer in her Palm Springs, California home. She was an actress, author, singer, businesswoman, and also a health spokesperson. She became an author of self-help books like Ageless Naked Truth about bioidentical hormones, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, four diet books, and a book of poetry. She was a criticizer for reviews on some medical products and advocacy of the Wiley Protocol, scientifically unproven and dangerous. Her promotion of alternative cancer treatments also received criticism from the American Cancer Society. She was born in San Bruno, California, on October 16, 1946, and the third of four children in a working class Irish American Catholic family, her mother, Mary Elizabeth, was a medical secretary, and her father, Francis, was a laborer gardener. When Suzanne was six, her father became an alcoholic, but she, she would call her names and embarrass her. She attended Cappuccino High School. She said she, she also said she was a cheerleader at Mercy High School in Burlingham, California, and was accepted at San Francisco College for Women, a college run by the Catholic Society of the Sacred Heart Order. Of course, she played Blonde in the White Thunderbird in American Graffiti, and on episode New York version of sitcom Lots of Luck. And in the Rockford Files in 1974, and credit uncredited roles topless pool girl Magna Force in 1973. She also guest starred on the Six Million Dollar Man in the Cheshire product. And on the she played passenger on the first episode of Love Boat, as well as a guest appearance on the 1976 episode of One Day at a Time. But her fans' role was Christy Snow on Three's Company, and she flew, appeared on as a celebrity panelist on Magic Game with her husband, Alan Hamill, on Tattletales. She was cast in the ABC sitcom Three's Company in January of 1977 when Susan Zenner and Susan Lanier did not impress the producers during the first two pilots. She was suggested by ABC president Fred Silverman Sr. on the stage show and she was uh, the audition hired the day before the taping of third and final pilot officially commenced. She portrayed Grayson on a stereotypical dumb blonde who was employed as an office secretary. She co-starred Joe Ritter and Joyce DeWitt in A Comedy of Errors. Oh, two single women with single men prevents being again in order to bypass the landlord's policy, permitting single men sharing apartments with two single women. It was a success in the ratings. It spawned a sh short lived spin off series with Norman Fell and Audra Lindley. When it began its fifth season in late 1980, she demanded a hefty salary increase from $30,000 to $150,000 an episode and 10% ownership of the show's profits. They, but the ABC just said no, and they refused to appear in the second and fourth season. Episodes of the season due to the excess such as, excuses such as broken ribs. She finished remaining season on her contract, but her roles decreased just 60 seconds per episode. That's all. Her character only appeared in the episode's closing time, which Christy calls the show's part for her presence. They fired her for the program, terminated her contract, and sued, she sued an outward for $2 million, saying her credibility and show's business has been damaged. Future ratings also favor the network and producers. And Summer said she was five for acting paid as much as the popular American television stars of that day, such as Alan Alda and Carol O'Connor. In 1983, Summers, through her Hamill Summers Productions, had signed a deal for Columbia Pictures Television. And she and John Ritter reconciled their friendship after 20 years after, of not speaking to each other shortly before he died in 2003. Of course, she appeared in Playboy cover feature new pictorials in 1980 and 1984. She was spokesman with the Thighmaster. She was Las Vegas entertainer in the 1980s. In the 90s, she was spokesperson for the Thighmaster. Exercise equipment that squeezed between one thighs. And of course, she got her in, herself into the Infomercial Hall of Fame on May 2nd, 2014. She also appeared on the TV series She's a Sheriff, who was a widow of two young kids and decided to fill the shoes of her late husband, a sheriff in the Nevada town. It ran from 87 to 89. Then for Step by Step, she returned to the network, appearing in numerous guest roles made for TV movies, mostly for ABC. Her roles in these, which was the movie Rich Men, Single Women, attracted the attention of War Mar Television and Miller Boy Productions, who were developing a new sitcom. She had starred in the film with Heather Locklear, who had very diverted the focus of both production companies to summer to Locklear's starring role on Going Places. For Laura Mar, this was asking Summers back, since they alone have produced She's a Sheriff. In September of 91, she returned to the series TV in the sitcom Step by Step with Patrick Duffy, which was an ABC youth oriented teacher at Blamp. After a week after the premiere of Step by Step, they had a two hour biopic of Summer starring as the actress herself entitled Keeping Secrets. 
She also launched a daytime talk show in 94, but it only lasted one season. She stayed on step by step until it was on ABC until the end of the sixth season in 97, moved to CBS for the final season, 97-98, and co-hosted the network revival of Candy Camera Peter Funt, which began later that season. She was Candy Co-host from 97 to 99. Then she was in the Blonde the, in the Thunderbird Broadway series, and she had an online talk show, Su Suzanne Summers Breaking Through. And the Suzanne Show aired 13 episodes in 2012. She was on Dancing with the Stars in 2015 during the 20th season. She was eliminated in the fifth week competition with her partner Tony Dovolani, and they finished in ninth. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2001, and she was diagnosed with inoperable cancer by six doctors in November of 2008, which became the basis of her book, Knockout. In 2013, she's just an went on his shooting spree at Sandy Hook Elementary School due to the level of toxins in his diet and the household cleaners he was exposed to. She said that all these chemicals may over-electrify the brain. She married Bruce Summers when she was 19. They had Bruce Jr. in November of 65. The marriage ended in 68. She was a prize model in an anniversary game in 1969, 70, and she met host Alan Hamill, and they married in 1977. She leaves behind three granddaughters, Camilla, Camilla Violet and Daisy Hamill Buffa. A fire destroyed her home on January 9, 2007. She died off stage 2 breast cancer in April 2000. And just a few months ago, her, she announced that her breast cancer returned. She died just a day before her 77th birthday. I mean, that's just heartbreaking, not making it to your 77th birthday. But she had a very illustrious career, and she was one of the best actresses you could possibly know. She was amazing. And we're going to miss her very much. It's been, it's tough on all of us, but she lived a long career. And that's pretty damn impressive, I'm telling you. So that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for more videos. So until then, enjoy the weekend.